Hi everybody, I'm doing quick workthrough for this easy room part of a uh, track me, Advent of Cyber 2025, Network Discovery, Scan, Tuck Loss. I'm just doing a couple of them, not doing all of them. So, Discovery, how to scan network ports and then cover what is hidden behind them. So, basically, this one is more about how to scan when you have, so when you start with a machine, you always start your attack box and you have your target machine we have the IP for our target machine when you start a CTF or anything so usually here's Christmas preparation or delay the whole spec has the breach okay environment so basically the story of uh, they tell you it's a TBS dash dev QI that's the name of the host and we can see from the IP when you visit the IP address there it tell you Isma's takeover your QA server also to Hopsec and it tell you on the top was a pawn by um, uh, if you do uh, if you yeah if you are doing a STF it's always try to learn check the source code and things to for example that last center key we don't have the key so if you try any smart ways to do this I'm not sure if there is a smart ways because it need a key, the key where is uh, it's not there. Uh, no, it's uh, sorry. Uh, it called the unlock endpoint, and it called the unlock is the same file. So if you put something wrong there, response and it's back to unlock combine the three keys. So nope, recheck the enumeration. So. Uh, I'm just checking you so guys in case you do CTF it, uh, you, you learn some stuff so we know there is nothing so it's hidden so we can't um, bypass that is for now so let's follow the story so we start machine okay let's done with all that let's start uh, okay they tell us uh, Okay, in short and send basic network, this is another room from Triac Me. So we have a target with its IP and then scan IP of a port, especially a common one like SSH and AT. This is, uh, no, this is, I don't need you. This is network concepts, this is another room if you want to do it. Um, so we don't need this one. Uh, this is, the, let me not confuse everybody. So and every time we get we scan we get a key so basically and map and map in this default scan like that usually or either you you do a room like that so when you do a normal and map usually don't start like that usually and map yeah it might let's see if how long it will take this is just take uh, the first thousand so we have 2280 only so uh, this one is cool so we have only uh, because usually this is a normal scan, the, the, the default, without any... Um, so we know, for example, now from the scan, uh, you know that 22 and 80 open. So you come here and you put your IP and said, okay, let me go back, put IP, and that's the page for you to start with. Uh, for example, the next thing, for example, they use the, the script banner. So basically to tell you what is what. So for example, if I want to... And mine speed means scan all ports. So usually, uh, so if you repeat scan, uh, the uh, sc uh, and map come with different scripts. So it gets is banner. So the the this one give you what save is running. The minus P it means scan all ports because sometimes there is a higher port that open. You need to scan all of them. Um, for example, now uh, look for example if you want to do faster way. Let me come back to you. There's another tool that is fast. I always use it. It's a, a tool called uh, Rust Scan. For look for Rust, do minus A and leave it. So look how fast this one. It's supposed to be fast. Uh, don't tell me mach machine uh, because people complain the machine is shutting down. Oh no, uh, see, this one is fast. You see, you found 22, found 18, you found 20, 20, but it doesn't tell you really what what is what. Sometimes you need an map for specific part, but for, for speed, learn to use this one, it gives you a quicker result. 
So now we found that there is 22, 80, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 25, 25, 1. We don't know what is these things do. This one called trinket Asian. But Nmap will have the, the power, but Nmap is slow when it scan all ports. Usually you need to add minus T or something. Let's leave it there. The bear. One thing you can do when you do, I usually when I do this, uh, for example, you can come back to Nmap, but now you can tell Nmap. For example, usually my, I usually do use minus SC minus SV, quite and uh, side uh, uh, what they call TCP, and then I do minus P. And for example, I don't know what that one twenty two two one two uh, two one two because now I'm targeting just one port, so it's fine. Let's see if this one. You see, and my pony run all the ports is always take time. We come back to this one. So basically now uh, realize like for example it, uh, like this scan you can see that VFTP VSFTP uh, is uh, FTP in the twenty one two one two. So we can leave uh, leave uh, what's going on now. Our scan finish, uh, and map finish, he said there is an SSH, and he told me there is a VS FTPD banner in 21212. Uh, this one, now you can see I got also FTP status, so we know it's an FTP. So now I can go, uh, uh, because it's an FTP, you do FTP you just launch, say, most of the time when you connect to one, two, Two one two one two one two. Uh, when you connect FTP, always test username anonymous. Anonymous. It's always sometimes most CTF they use these things anonymous. And then uh, you do unless you are in Linux machine, so you have that file TBC. Uh, uh, when you are in FTP, you get you get uh, what they call it. Um, you do get and it downloads it in the same folder where the FTP command will start. So it's received. So we can just go there. Uh, let me call this. So we got cat. Uh, let me see what's the name of the file again. Cat uh, tbfc and then we have the key one. Uh, let's. Uh, that's our key one. Let's keep this one there so we can know this is key one. Then the next thing what we have, we have uh, this one is a new one port, a 251. Usually sometimes when you get something like that in a new one, you don't know what, what exactly uh, this one is. Uh, Nmap, did, let's see what track I was talking about. What okay, we got the FTP and then port scan, this is NC. Gojo finding the first part. There is nothing more we can see on FTP server, so let's move to on to the custom TB, TBFC up 25251 since it's not all well known. When you don't know something, usually sometimes you try to push in, uh, um, the NC because NC is easier to interact with it. Why am I freezing it? So you do NC. And then you go to IP on machine, it's not type. Uh, and you have that port, we don't know what is it. So NC basically, like for example, it's a side quest 1, there is NC there. We used it. So now I tell you type help, so if I type help, it said command status, what is status do? Uh, uh, 20 support 25, it said uh, get I forgot to get key. Uh, the key, so we get a key number two. So we have number two, a key. We can just learn to do documentation so we don't get lost. Then the next thing, what exactly the next thing track me is doing? I forgot about it. Uh, the, this is a UDP scan. Don't forget about it. I remember there is a CTF where you scan a normal TCP, you don't find anything, and then the answer was in UDP state. Uh, now they tell us to because um, did we saw DNS uh, 53 port? Is there a 53 port? Why is the scanning DNS 8022? What what exactly the port we found? Uh, 
He's not 53. Why is doing the, the after a minute you should see uh, an open port 50 assorted with the DNS after a minute. Okay, let's uh, let me scan this again. I don't see this. Uh, what is that IP again? Let's do rust scan faster. Rust scan minus A. Put IP. It said 53 is up. We have 22. This command is more um, normally dig you run it alone, but here they already give us the the name of the server. But it's just for learning opportunities. But uh, usually you don't do it like that. What is the 53 is talking about? It's not 53. Oh, I didn't. Uh, oh, we, because we didn't scan. No, no, it doesn't make sense. What's going on here? Map is uh, SU, the UDP scan. After a minute, you should see. I think they're waiting for us to scan to uh, the service to start. Very strange, to be honest, because usually. Um, you be usually this one should pick up the DNS the, without problem. I think it's the way how the the, the room is configured. Any case, let's do clear and then let's do uh, the dig one. And dig one basically a dig is uh, just a check DNS record TXT record most of the domain they have it. So now we got a key three. So let's go to a key three. Now we can answer the answer question first of all. Let's do that. Uh, that's key one, uh, key one. And let's go to this one. Enter key. Let's put the first one. And then the, the, you can see this is the answer for, the, for that question. Let's do them quickly so we don't forget about them. Uh, the next one is key number two. We have this is key number two. And then let's put it there in key number two. And then we have key number three. Now let's unlock and let's put this also there. Now go to terminal and then we get this uh, this little nice terminal. So you are in the machine, we have an LS for example, what? What mean I just done? This is to us, uh, what exactly we're trying to do here? Uh, S, this SS, this net, uh, only is not installed, so we need a TLLP uh, listening port T, uh, TLLM, uh, TLLMP or something. What exactly I'm doing? Turn LP. How come I forgot about this turn LP? What's going on? Oh, sorry, I forgot you. Sometimes you just uh, you get freeze brain, brain freeze. Minus. Now we have this. Uh, now you have the ports. For example, you can see this is a three three zero six. That's a database MySQL. This is a DNS. This is I don't know some machine. That's the eighty port. Uh, the eighty is when uh, this application is running. We have a fifty. How many fifty three we have here? This is his listening. That's incoming. That we scan. This is the port that we do ourselves. Then they have the SSH is there. We have 8000. This is the normal. Um, this is the part is forwarding to port 80. 
uh, for example when you are let's clear this thing we know what is a database so uh, why is not clearing uh, do, do I have permission to get something no we have we can spy a little bit nothing really any case uh, we are uh, we are the TBF cap so we're not to do something so for example here that we know that port is uh, like room state uh, the port is uh, this one is my SQL port is one known port for my SQL so one way to do it you can do it this way like write uh, my SQL minus the database minus issue table select or you can just write like that let's do it in the you can do it in the, just do my sequel like that and then you can say show data basis why am not uh, show databases this is a my sequel database a normal one so I need to need to use that one I need to use this one because that one command line that's fine you can do that one guys but I'm just showing you something as different why is this room is uh, then always don't forget to put that list in the end use that one database change so show tables then it show me the table and then you can select everything from flags and then uh, of flags and then we got our flag that's one way to interact with MySQL if you want it's different a little bit but still the same things you can do the line database call uh, SQL call database then do minus e the command in one line or you do it like we did it now it's just a way of doing it now there is another room if you guys you want to practice in that one uh, and map. I'm not sure if you have a video for this one, but in any case, guys, that's the the story of this. This one, if you want to go to and map, try to do this one, and then, uh, as I said, for an, uh, for faster speed, learn to use uh, Rust scan. Rust scan is good for you to for quick knowing uh, uh, knowing uh, the port open quicker way. Thank you everybody, thank you very much, please subscribe and press like, thank you very much.